Hi folks, Colm here from Commerce Gurus again, part two of our Adrenaline and WPML install and setup process. We left off just after completing our demo data import for Adrenaline. Just to briefly, before we continue with the WPML install and setup process, just to finish off the Adrenaline installation, nearly forgot about some key final tasks that you need to do. Uh, one thing which isn't really part of the tutorial, but I'm going to do it anyway now, just to, for those who haven't seen this in the other Adrenaline um, install guides is our layer sliders. We just need, they're a separate import. Um, again, they're about five megs, so you kind of want to make sure that upload limit is uh, big enough to allow, uh, should be 10 megs will cover pretty much everything you need to upload. Um, where will I find the layer sliders? They're within the main zip package in demo data. Uh, layer slider and a zip file. Let's just go ahead and import those. So again, it's going to take you know a minute or two to import. Just while that's working away, uh, there's some other things we can do. I'll just open up some additional tabs. Um, one thing you're going to want to do is set your some key WooCommerce pages, which you can do from within WooCommerce settings and one other link I'll just open up at the same time is we're going to want to set our home page, our blog page, and we're going to want to turn on some permalinks as well. So they should all be opening up now in the background. So within WooCommerce settings, go into products. And you want to set the first page you want to set is your shop page. So this has come in as part of our demo data install. So just go down and hit save. You'll see thumbnails all set, some defaults that we've set as part of the initial uh, theme install process. Go to check out then with the shop page is set. And you want to set your cart page very simply as cart. Checkout page is checkout. Terms guys are going to leave them blank for now. So let's just save those. Finally, we want to set our My Account page as follows. And let's just save that. Okay, so there's our WooCommerce pages set up and saved. Um, in reading settings, you're going to want to set your home page to be one of the many different home pages we provide. Let's set it to be the default for now. And our post page, we're going to make blog. Hit save. So that's set up now. Let's see if our later sliders have been imported. And they have. So now, if I go and check out our home page, we should see Adrenaline fully set up. With any luck, and we have. So you'll see at the moment I've just set this uh, to default to one of the other uh, layer sliders, but you can change that as per the documentation from within Visual Composer. Um, you'll see the logo here is currently default to text logo. You're going to want to replace that with your own logo on a text widget. We're going to be changing that to switch to the language and currency switchers. And of course, you'll see we've replaced copyrighted images with great placeholders, all ready to go, ready for you guys to set up your own content. So what's next? So we're going to head back into WordPress backend. And first thing I'm going to do is install the WPML plugins. So you remember from part one, we've downloaded those into our local directory from WPML.org. So let's go ahead and add new. Upload plugin. And we're going to find a series of plugins starting with um, SitePress. So you'll see here it's got SitePress. It's a legacy name, uh, just so you don't get confused. This is actually the main plugin you want to install. Install on that. Again, be patient. It shouldn't take that long. And we hit activate. 
Now, you'll see this error sometimes happens on some hosts. If that happens, just go back. It's a host specific error. Just go back into your plugins. If you do come across that error. And you should see plugins here when we activate from here. Okay, so we'll take the quick overview just to get us started. Sorry, this page here. Um, I recommend you read this in detail. There is a lot to um, understand about how WPML works. So it's definitely worth reading through the WPML documentation before you start the install process. Um, but let's go ahead and configure things ourselves. So our default language in our case is English. And for the purposes of this introductory tutorial, we're just gonna set French and Spanish as our site languages. So you can see there's quite a lot of other options. For the moment, we're gonna keep things simple. Now the language switcher, we'll configure this a little bit later on, but our chosen our recommended position for this is in top to our left. And we'll have a little bit of a look at that later on. And you'll see you've got a number of different options here, but the order and languages, the switcher style. Um, you can use both. Uh, I personally recommend that you use a list of languages and you make it a horizontal list. I also recommend that for the purposes of brevity, that you just display the flag rather than the actual uh, uh, name. Just keep the flags. Most people will know uh, what these mean. Number of options here about how to handle pages, without languages without translations. And uh, again, my preferred option here for the moment is to link to the la uh, homepage of the language for missing translations. Okay, so we're just going to hit next. Now, uh, you will have purchased, or you should have purchased, a um, license from WPML. So I'm just going to pause this video so I can enter my license key, and I'll be right back.